In that same administration, uh, you had the controversy over torture, whether or not it could be justified and legal. And there's a, a remarkable moment with your wife, Patrice. She doesn't know all the details of what you're going through, but she says... Yeah, there was a remark. It actually irritated me a little. I love her desperately, uh, but she's great at giving me feedback. And she had seen on the news, didn't know what I was working on, but had seen on the news all the controversy around the treatment of prisoners at a U.S. prison in Iraq called Abu Ghraib. And there was a great deal of news and debate about whether the American government was engaged in torture. She knew that, and she also knew I was under some sort of great stress. This is after the stress of the surveillance battle. And she said to me one evening, don't be the torture guy. And I said, well, I, you know I can't talk to you about that kind of stuff. And she said, I don't want to talk about it. Just don't be the torture guy. And she repeated that periodically thereafter. And I've since told her, look, that was not helpful, except your voice echoed around my head an awful lot during that. What she meant was, rise above and remember someday you're going to explain to your grandchildren how you conducted yourself.